I hope you're all well, doing great. Let's make sure that we get it all in. And to start it off, I'm just looking at some horizontal resistance right above us. Above that, it looks like we have some room to roam. Right now, Bitcoin on the breakout, currently consolidating, looking above over here where my mouse is, right around this level, right around there. You can see over here, this was, this was support on the breakdown retest and then follow through on the downside. That there is a level that we need to take out. Taking that out gives us a little bit of room over here. And at that point, we could be looking at something like 40,000 Bitcoin. We could even tag the 0 0.786 FIB retracement level as we did in past cycles, right around 49, 50,000 Bitcoin. Both those things could very much happen. Or Bitcoin could roll over. We don't know. Just because in the past we've seen Bitcoin show certain characteristics throughout the cycle does not mean that it's going to happen again. We're going to make sure that we stay in front of it. We're seeing Bitcoin consolidating right now well above the breakout of that resistance. As long as we're above it, everything is perfectly perfectly aligned here for further upside a break below the green line right now i have it around let's call it 27,750 27,000 yeah it's a good number 27,500 that's the slope of this line as long as we're above those levels we're looking good if you look at right now we are looking at a 25 basis points hike being priced in i expect that to move a little bit after the meeting minutes and then we have a couple of more things that are coming up on the calendar. Even this week, we do have uh, PPI coming out. We have unemployment, cl uh, un unemployment claims and retail, and we're expecting retail to come off. We want to make sure that the U.S. consumer stays into the market. Once the U.S. consumer leaves, if job markets come off soft, we can still see some repricing coming into this month's or next month's May meeting and we are in a data dependent market. Speaking of that data, energy decline was the biggest deflationary driver for the headline CPI. How do you think that's gonna look next month? This is gasoline futures coming back and we are seeing them rise. We are seeing because OPEC to go ahead and cut output, we have seen a rise in crude oil. So whether or not this eventually, look at that pattern over here, I mean, could. Could you see that roll over? Yes. Or does that look a bit like a rounding bottom? It does. It, do, it does look at the, where I'm highlighting that, that area of resistance, right? I could see a rounding bottom over here, breaking above that area. Would it be down over here? Would it be kind of right, right at the $3 psychological number? If any of those are breached, then we see an extension up above $3. We could start seeing inflationary pressures picking up again. And at that point, that puts the Federal Reserve in a really difficult situation unless they actually want cover to keep on raising rates. Why would they want to do that? Well, I don't know. Maybe they're looking for a deflationary bust. Look at that. We got a breakout occurring right now. A bought, this is an important breakout of oil, something that we want to make sure that we're watching and aware of. That opens up the door for a move into right around 93. That's a big breakout that's occurring. And Ace, don't forget, we've seen oil come off massively during that, that, last, that last print that we just saw. That's now been eroded. And not only that, we're now looking at potentially even here, energy rising. So that becomes a problem. That's something that we've talked about as our cause, cause for concern going forward would be that if we saw any type of inflationary forces rising. Today, the markets are looking at the CPI data release that is data from basically going back the last month or so. That's not forward-looking, that's reverse-looking, and going. that's why we watch the price of energy. Close above is going to be, for sure, a major breakout occurring over here, and you want to stay on the right side.